Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. It has been a minute since we had a discussion video. It's been a crazy week of the streams. Thank you to everybody. I've seen so many people uh, from YouTube hopping into the stream saying hello. Uh, shout out to all of you. I appreciate the support a lot, a lot. And uh, to those of you that just enjoy watching the YouTube videos, I really, really, really do appreciate you. Thank you so much for all the support. I think it's going to be another crazy week. Um, with Trophy Titans, and then we go right into Team of the Season. So, you guys know me. I, I'm not really forcing FIFA unless I'm feeling it, and it's been a really fun week or two of FIFA. I've been having a lot of fun playing FIFA the last week or two. The content has been really good. The cups have been really good. There's been a ton to do. Yes, it's been sweaty, but there's been a lot to do. Now, we're going to talk in today's video about Trophy Titans, which is the next promo coming out tomorrow, and we're also going to talk about the 90-plus uh, Prime Icon, Team of the Year Icon, or Foot Birthday SBC, that is probably going to be coming out on Sunday if I were to take a guess. Usually Sundays are those days, so that will be a really fun day. Uh, it's also Easter, so I don't really know how I'm going to fit that stream in. I do celebrate Easter, so I'll figure out how I'm going to do that because I do not want to miss that SBC uh, at all. Uh, FOMO is real, but Friday stream, tomorrow will be crazy, so make sure you guys jump into the stream. I'm not streaming today. I'm forcing myself to take a day off of streaming just so I can rest for tomorrow. I don't want to really stream like all these all these days in a row and then burn out i don't want to do that because i stream last saturday and sunday um so i'm forcing myself today but i'm working on some videos and really guys we had this loading screen yesterday uh and it has been confirmed right foot scoreboard has already tweeted out that this promo trophy titans is going to have heroes and icons and so far that is it right so this promo looks like it's going to be a promo for very, very expensive FIFA accounts, which worries me a little bit. We're going to start off with a little bit of a discussion. We're going to move into some other uh, discussions in this video. But on the loading screen, I believe it's Del Piero, Yaya Toure, and Lucio, right? Now, obviously, guys, Lucio and Yaya Toure are extremely expensive cards, and you never even seem, see them being packed, right? Maybe maybe you see their uh, their base versions being packed, but if you go on Flippin and you look at Lucio's price, 2 million coins, he's down 500k. You look at Yaya Toure's price, 2.6 million coins, he's probably down about 500k. So they're down a lot. I think their new versions are going to be insanely expensive. And there's a couple interesting takes that I have here that I wanted to talk about with you guys. I'm not going to reference the exact tweet, but there was an EA employee or ex-EA employee that basically said that EA, uh, EA's new FIFA game next year is going to come out on August 28th. Now, FIFA these days is being released usually in the end of September, uh, right on the the border of October. Um, so that would be a month earlier. And you know what? I actually think that's very likely because this year it's EA's game. Um, they've been preparing for this. It's going to be called EA Sports Football Club 24. Uh, a lot of you may have already heard that. It's not FIFA anymore. And uh, I've always said this. I think it makes more sense to drop uh, a football game when the season starts in August. I never understand why we always have to wait like five, six weeks. I feel like they lose a lot of hype. So what all this is relating to is that, look, a Trophy Titans promo is insane. If you think about it right now, Yaya Toure's World Cup Hero and Lucio's World Cup Hero, these are already the best cards in the game. So I was sitting here looking at this like, why would EA drop a promo with even better cards of the best cards in the game, and it's just turned April? Like, we haven't even had Team of the Season, we haven't had Shapeshifters, we haven't had any of these crazy summer promos, and EA is most likely going to be dropping the best possible cards in the game. Now, some people may argue, oh, it's for the pro players, it's for the pro scene. I don't really agree. I just think EA is on a little bit more of a time scale. If you think about it, it's April 6th right now. Like, if the move update of the new FIFA, which we're going to just for the sake of EA Sports Football Club, we're going to call it the new FIFA until there's another FIFA. I'm not calling it EA Sports FC until, you know, FIFA actually makes a game theirself. We're calling it FIFA 24. Um, what, what I'm thinking is that if it comes out five weeks earlier, right, they're probably going to have to put in some of this content a little bit earlier in the cycle than they want to. So we may see the power curve, uh, the end game power curve, be done by like May or June, where we would usually be expected to be like July, because that's kind of the last month, July, and then August is like a massive content month of packs and a bunch of 99 rated showdowns. So we may see that shift a month earlier because this type of promo just feels way too early for me, right? As I said, Yaya Toure and Lucio already the best cards in the game, and now they're going to be getting even crazier cards. Like, it doesn't really make sense. So that's my main theory that the timetable is moving up on the, on the FIFA uh, content release because EA is trying to get all of the content they can get in and the endgame content sooner than later. So yeah, and then my other concern before we talk about anything in this promo, you guys know I love my discussion. My other real concern is that 
I'm just a little bit worried that this promo could die for the majority of us. And what I mean by that is that you and me, like I have a million coins on my account, 1.5. I'm not hardcore trading. Many of you are the same way. You have a couple million at the most. Maybe you got a couple hundred K, maybe you got 50 K, right? The problem with all of us is that these cards are going to be insanely expensive. Lucio is going to be four mil plus. Yaya Toure is going to be like six or seven. He might not even be on the market. And so what I'm saying is that we've just come off this foot birthday promo that's been really good, right? We've had cups. We've had guaranteed packs. We've had swaps. Um, we've had so many things going on, right? And it's been accessible for us. Yes, we've probably not all packed a, a, a foot birthday icon, but we've had players to pack. And so I'm a little bit worried that if this promo is just icons and heroes, isn't it going to die? Because all of us are going to feel like we have no chance to pack these cards. That's what I'm worried about. So my theory is that we are going to get a best of team or some sort of like objective style thing uh, that comes out. We will see. But that's my theory because I think if it's just icons and heroes... This promo is going to die very, very, very quickly. So we will see. Um, that's that's the question mark. And look, usually best of is not leaked, right? In the showdown promo we had two weeks ago, there was no idea of best of. We logged on at 1 p.m. and there was best of. So we don't really know. Um, and, and that's that. So obviously, Trophy Titans will have icons and heroes. This is the, the car design um, for the heroes. Looks pretty nice to me. This is the car design for the icons. I always say the graphics team at EA is always killing it. Uh, these are obviously crazy, crazy designs um, out of this world. And um, yeah, that's the loading screen. If you guys wanted a, uh, a high res, that's the loading screen. Um, not too hard to guess who is who. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about, uh, very, 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 very important to you, is um, the 90 plus uh, prime team of the year foot birthday SPC. Now, this was leaked a couple days ago. And this is really interesting because, you know, I've been saying for a while, I think a lot of us really want those team of the year cards, or at least a chance. I don't know if this is a player pick. I assume this is a pack. Um, but yeah, 90 plus prime icon, team of the year, foot birthday icon. Like, that is crazy. Um, so I think it's going to be very similar to the hero picks we just had, where the foot fantasy heroes were in the picks. And they were really, really, really hard to pack. Like, those foot fantasy heroes, you never saw them getting uh, packed, right? So, in a one of three options. So, this is going to be a probably, I think it's going to be a pack. And it's going to be a 90 plus prime team of the year foot birthday SPC. So, what I want to do with you guys real quick is kind of just run through this and then kind of give you like a little bit of a price prediction. I know you guys do uh, enjoy that. So, if we go to minimum rating, right? We're just going to go 90. And how many primes generally is this going to uh, get rid of, right? That's the real question. Now, obviously, you've got all your top tier primes. And then you do have, you still have four pages, guys. So you still have about 90 primes that you can pack, right? And all the bad ones are here. So I'm hoping this is a pick because as a pack, this could be really, really brutal. Now, the one thing I will say in terms of like leverage for us, I don't know if EA can make it crazy expensive if it's a one player pack and you've got like 40 to 50, you know, prime icons, 90 to 93 that are 150, 100K. Surely that would keep the price down of the SBC. If it was a pick, maybe it's going to be like 800 k to a mil but if if we've got this many fodder players available i think there's no way he is going to make it more than like 550 500 they probably will put the tax on the team of the year and foot birthday because those obviously a lot of those cards are like 15 mil um but if we go to team of the year icons right i mean this is crazy right because if you get a team of the year icon it's essentially a w dino is extinct Garrett Muller is sick. David Beckham is 4 mil. Hullet is basically been extinct. Nesta is unbelievable. Zanetti is unbelievable. Pirlo is unbelievable. Hugo Sanchez, SBC. Perez is unbelievable. Makalele is unbelievable. Um, Vidic is crazy. He's a top tier center back. Cole, I think, is the best left back with Captavia. And Vandersar is like the most broken keeper. So, all of these, if you see the team of the year icon flare, are a W. They're all a W. Um, which is crazy. And then if you go to foot birthday icons, you do have some fodder there. That's for sure. Like John Barnes, 190. Rui Cost, 140. Um, but then you've got Desai, Rooney, right? You do have Russian Veron, but you've got Ronald Koeman, which is a W. Clivert L, but then you've got Kaká. You've got uh, Rivaldo SBC, Jairzinho. I think foot birthday Jairzinho. It's funny looking at the price of like Hulla and Dino. I think this card is probably the best card in the game. Um, as much as I do love Ronaldinho unbelievable right unbelievable in game and then you've got all these so i i think for me it just depends right if it's a pick like they could totally make this like 700k just because of the title of the sbc having team of the year and full birthday 
But if it's a pack, there is also a chance that, you know, it could be a lot cheaper because as we just saw in the 90 plus prime icon side of things, you know, there was a there there was a lot of fodder. Um, so I'm going to look up Larice real quick because Larice is fodder and his price is 19k. So I think this I think this SBC is going to come out on Sunday um, personally and we do have a new promo tomorrow so I think a lot of people open packs. So I just think the next 2 to 3 days if you do have some spare coins, it's a really nice time. Um, really nice time to go ahead and club stock. Like you really can't go wrong if you don't have fodder, go for it. Um, try to stock some. I think it's a really nice time to put 87s, 86s, 88s, 89s in your club. I do think that 90s are really inflated, but you know, obviously, if we got an SPC like this, there's a chance they could go even higher. But be patient. We've got a new promo tomorrow. I think a lot of people will open packs. Um, and for me, that's just a fact. I think that's what's gonna, kind of going to happen. Um, what I wanted to show you guys real quick is I did put something in one of my uh, discords yesterday. But I did see this on Twitter. And I thought this was really interesting. So I'm going to pull this up for you guys before we go onto console because I do want to show this to you. Um, I made a video recently about where the hell did icon swaps go. And this was... Uh, this was put into the i don't know if this is like accessible right now in the menus but this was put on twitter yesterday and sometimes when ea is adding in um sometimes when ea is adding in codes uh or or car designs they put it into the car design so if you see right here it's special item so to me this looks like another swaps um which is really 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 interesting um i think trophy titan swaps i think you know, I've, I've seen some people saying, well, I think that's team of the season swaps, but I, I don't really think EA would add, like, a swaps token in um, this early away from team of the season. Like, we are still quite a ways away from team of the season. And uh, if you actually look at this car design pretty closely, it's right next to the, it's right next to the Trophy Titans cards, right? And if you, you know, if we zoom in on it, obviously... Um, it's kind of got that like icon swaps token feel. So maybe we're actually going to be getting an icon swaps token. And I've been sitting here, as I said, trying to figure out like what way is EA going to engage everybody with this promo with these top tier cards. Maybe some of those cards and maybe some other packs and stuff like that is going to be available for swaps. And I think EA have like 100% realized how important swaps are are to like audience retention on this game swaps are so fun logging in every day is a good time uh working towards something in swaps so hopefully that's what it is um i'm pretty sure if i were to take a guess that it will be a swaps of something for the next promo or two the only concern that i have is that usually when we do get swaps ea puts out a message like a week before um saying you know we're gonna have swaps and that's when stuff starts to get leaked and then also we also just had a swap. So that's what I'm like a little nervous about. We've just had a swap. So it's very rare that we have back-to-back -back swaps. But if it's if it's icon swaps, it's not necessarily like a promo swaps, right? So it's a little bit different um, than a promo swaps, right? Yes, we just had foot birthday swaps. But that doesn't really matter, right? Because icon swaps would be different. I, I understand that back-to-back -back swaps is a little confusing. So we'll see what that is. I don't really know. Uh, we'll see. Maybe it's some sort of you got to collect tokens and put it in an SBC eventually. I'm not really too sure. Um, and then other than that, a couple, you know, other just things I wanted to talk about. Yesterday, EA released a showdown. Uh, and whoever wins, right? If I believe the way they had put it was if there is a draw, I think they both get five star, five star, which is wild. Um, and, you know, these SBCs right now don't look great. But Resilient at 72K, I mean, even with the 5-5, five five, I think he'll be good. But, and, and the thing is, honestly, Berlin, uh, is it Berlin? Yeah, Berlin are really solid this year. So this is going to be a good game. But Mounier, Mounier with the 5-5 five five will be unbelievable as a center mid, I feel like, or even a right back. He's also got really, uh, he's got, he's six foot three, right? So he's going to be really good in game. So this is an SPC you want to complete. He's 40,000 coins. This is one of, it's probably, this has potential to be one of the best SPCs all year if Dortmund, uh, you know, at least get that draw. And Mounier gets that little upgrade in that 5-5, five five, right? He's already got all 80 stats. So that is an SPC that, you know, could be sensational. Watch out for that. Um, yesterday, we got Toliso. I think Rabiota is better. Just want to point that out to you guys. I think Rabiota is the better play. Um, I know he's got five star weeklies in League One, but I think Rabiota is a better play. I would recommend, just, just pointing this out to everybody, I would recommend uh, stacking some 80 triples if you don't have fodder. Just, I think they're like 6 or 7K. Just make some. Because if you want to do that team with your icon SBC on Sunday, 
you will have some fodder and this does run out tomorrow so make sure you're doing that make sure you guys are doing the daily draft upgrades um and uh, i think in terms of that that's about it i wanted to give you a little bit of an update just on the transfer list and kind of what's been going on i've been lazy listing lafont um, I've got some team of the weeks. We probably got to flip through and sell uh, Neuer and Courtois. Unfortunately, guys, um, Neuer is down a little bit. And yesterday, I also packed, I put my untradeable Courtois in an SBC, which was really, really, really sad. But we'll take the money on those. Um, and what I wanted to talk about is investing in this foot birthday team. Because you know what, guys? I invested in LaFont. I bought about 20 at 38. And right now, LaFont is selling for... Um, 49 so france five star five star goalkeeper we couldn't go wrong right making about ten thousand coins per card that's why i'm lazy listing it's a really nice profit across 20 i've made about 200k which is sensational i want to talk about it this week because i actually think foot birthday team two if we don't have a crazy best of could really do well with the cheaper side of things because this could be a really expensive promo now i'm probably looking at as i said cheaper players um Gwendozi's a, a, a nice look but i think he's going to be really expensive Pacina, I don't love that there's two versions. I'm trying to stick to players that have one version. I think Tellez is interesting because he's Brazil left back. He's already up about 5K, which I don't love. So I'm not going to invest in that. But yeah, 90K for me looks good for him. Um, and then Hummels, I think is interesting. The problem with Hummels is that a lot of center backs in this game. So I'm not in love with that. I think, honestly, you've probably got a shout with maybe like John Barnes or Clivert. There's, there's a look. But other than that, I'm not in love with many of these investments now that I look at it again. Maybe Elshar could go up like 5 to 10K, but I'll just see where I'm at investment-wise and figure it out based on that. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I think that's where we're at. And yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow. And thanks for watching another video of mine, guys. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.